In today's video, I'm gonna be revealing 11 legit work from home jobs that are actually hiring with no degree or no experience necessary. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can get started with these jobs. And I'll be sharing with you the skills they're looking for and other insider tips so that you can pick the best job for your personality as well as your skill set. And I remember searching for remote or work from home job opportunities and wondering if I'd ever be able to find one just like you are right now. And I remember there's a lot of information out there that either wasn't helpful or it was really vague or it was down downright discouraging. And I felt trapped in my job working in the medical field with six figures of student loan debt hanging over my head. But one of my friends who'd been working online shared some amazing resources with me. And this made the whole process incredibly easy. And these are the resources I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. And working from home is one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life because it allows me to just roll out of bed in the morning and get to work on my laptop. And I can do the work from home or anywhere in the world. And it also saved me from the stress of having to wake up two hours before work just to get ready, then sit in traffic for a few hours, deal with a toxic work environment, and then be exhausted by the end of my day. And then just repeating the process over and over again until I felt numb. So I was able to escape this and now I wanna teach you how you can as well. So if you appreciate me sharing this top secret information, go ahead and cheers the like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is security alarm center processor. This is basically like being a soldier on the front lines, except you're basically keeping people safe with their security systems. And this is somebody who basically remotely monitors security systems and processes incident reports to address safety concerns. In this position, you'd probably make around $18 to $24 an hour. So it's not the highest paying position, but you don't need a college degree, you don't need previous experience, and it's relatively easy to get into, and you can do it remote. A position that's relatively similar would be an emergency dispatcher, and they make around $41 to $62,000 a year. A position you could go into later on down the line would be a security manager. They make about $75 to $135,000 a year, and there are other jobs you can go into as well. So there is a career path progression here. You're not just getting into a dead end job. That's going to lead to nowhere. So yeah, I really like this one. Uh, very unique. Not many people know about it. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be Medicare insurance sales. Now this is a sales job that not a lot of people know about. And in my opinion, it's one of the more enjoyable sales jobs. And the reason for that is because you are actually giving a ton of value by doing this because Medicare and the entire US healthcare system in general is a huge mess. And a lot of the times the insurance plans that people are on could be much, much better than they currently are. And so your job here is to actually save people money by calling them and convincing them to switch to a different insurance plan. So if you're the type of person who gets along with older people, maybe you're an old soul type of person, this could be a really good career path for you. And basically you are reaching out to people, you're establishing a relationship with them, and then you're assisting them in selecting the best Medicare and health insurance plans for them. And health insurance sales representatives make about 61 to $105,000 a year. There's other career paths you could potentially go into that are also involved in the medical industry, such as a pharmaceutical sales rep. They make about $84,000 to $157,000 a year. Now, if you want to go into sales, but you don't want to go into the medical industry, or if you just want one that's a little bit easier to get into, I do recommend tech sales. And I've talked about this many times on the channel. I've also shown many people who have been able to get tech sales jobs, such as Della. She got a job without a college degree and without previous experience, and she was able to make $100,000 her first year. And if you want to know exactly how she did this, there's actually a free training from the company that helped her, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. So definitely click down there and check it out. But yeah, this one's really good. I always recommend everyone does at least one sales job in their life, whether they end up doing it long term or not, or whether they like it or not. The skill set you learn from sales is going to be invaluable. And just about every successful business owner out there has done sales at least once in their life. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a communications assistant. So if you're someone who's a wordsmith at heart, you love writing, writing, and you feel an eagerness to craft compelling messages, then this remote job could be the fulfilling career that you're looking for. And this is basically a position where you develop and execute communication strategies for a target audience. And this is almost like being a lighthouse keeper, guiding the company's message through a fog of information in order to attract the right ships. And communication specialists make about forty eight dollars to $75,000 a year. So they're paid pretty well, especially considering it is an entry level job. And down the line, a career path you could go into would be communications manager. They make about seventy dollars to one hundred dollars thousand dollars a year. Content strategist is another one you could go into. They make about 68 to 109 thousand dollars a year. And speaking of content, one platform you might post on is YouTube. And that's exactly what I've done on this channel. And I've built this channel up to an entire seven figure business. And I've helped a bunch of other people build their channels up as well, such as Josh. And he also has a seven figure business now. And if you want to know exactly how I did that, I do have a free training, which I'll put down in the description in the pinned comment below that you can check out so that you can do it for yourself as well. And even more than that, I'm doing a live at Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be doing
doing this for a few weeks. So if you're watching this, you know, three months into the future, definitely click the link to see if I'm still doing the live, but I'll be doing it this week and a few weeks in the future at least. And I'll be revealing some of the most important secrets about growing on YouTube. And you can ask me any questions that you have. So definitely check that out. So yeah, communications assistant, pretty good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a paper claims processor. And this is somebody who basically reviews medical bills, verifies coverage, and ensures timely payment for healthcare services. And paper claims processors make about 42 to $61,000 a year. So again, it's not bad, especially for an entry level job that doesn't require a college degree. So there's some other career paths that are relatively similar that you could also go into, or you could maybe even go into right away, such as billing specialists, they make 44 to $63,000 a year. Underwriters make 71 to $122,000 a year. And claims managers make 79 to $134,000 a year. So yeah, this one's pretty good. Uh, lots of opportunities here. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break. So I know you guys want to know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also want to know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be a client relations coordinator. And this is basically the first point of contact for a customer and they answer inquiries, resolve issues, and ensure excellent experience across interactions. And this is typically a customer that is more of a high ticket customer. So it's someone whose account is worth quite a bit of money. And so the company wants to give them a higher level of service to make sure that they're happy. And they make about 45 to $62,000 a year. So this does pay better than your typical customer service representative, where you're basically talking to clients that maybe bought like a $50 item. Some other career paths you could potentially go into would be an account coordinator. They make $49 to $70,000 a year. A client relations manager, they make $78 to $127,000 a year. And a customer success manager, they make $101 to $172,000 a year. So yeah, pretty good one. Um, it's kind of like a customer service representative, but it's better and you typically work with less clients and you know focus on making actual relationships with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an assistant video editor. And this is somebody who basically supports the lead editor by managing creative files, creating simple edits and ensuring smooth asset management, right? So there's fancy edits that only advanced video editors can do. And then there's really simple edits that you can learn how to do in a few days and assistant video editors basically do the simple edits and then they make sure that everything is clean, there's no mistakes, and then they send that to the advanced video editor. And they make about 48 to $77,000 a year. Now there's other career paths you could potentially go into such as post-production coordinator, they make 60 to $98,000 a year, or a video editor that makes 50 to $88,000 a year. But yeah, this is a pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, comment below if you like these, you don't like these, or you think there's ones that I should have mentioned, but I didn't. I always like to read the comments and there's a good chance it'll make it into to a future video. Next is going to be a remote pharmacy technician. And this is a position that I know a lot about because I used to be a pharmacist and I used to work as a pharmacy technician before that. And there are a lot of aspects of pharmacy that can be done remotely. For instance, the data entry portion of whenever a prescription comes in can definitely be done remotely and many other parts of the process as well. And pharmacy technicians make about 37 to $52,000 a year. And as this person says, uh, don't pay for schooling, get hired at a pharmacy that will train you. Many retail pharmacies will, and they'll pay for the exam too. And you do actually need to pass an exam. It kind of depends on the state you're in, but you know, th different states have different necessities. But a lot of the time, the companies will actually provide that training for you. It's very common in the medical field, especially for the lower level jobs. And yeah, lead pharmacy technicians, they make about 43 to $59,000 a year. Pharmacy technician managers make 50 to $74,000 a year. A lot of the time, the pharmacy techs in hospitals do make better money than the ones that work in retail. And yeah, it's not the worst career in the world, um, especially if you're working remote and especially if you already know a lot about the medical field. I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a benefits call center representative. And this is basically somebody who guides employees through their company benefits. So it's almost like being an architect for employee benefits, creating a personalized blueprint for a more secure future. And in this position, you'd make about 35 to $49,000 a year. And there's other positions that you could move into where you make even more money like benefits specialists, they make 52 to $81,000 a year, HR generalists, they make 71 to $113,000 a year and benefits managers, they make 87 to $151,000 a year. So there is a decent career path that you can actually move into after securing this entry level job. So this is also kind of a customer service job, but the customers are actually employees. And so typically they're not going to be as many Karens 
hopefully, since you guys probably work at the same company. So yeah, I'll go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a loan processing associate. And this is somebody who's responsible for reviewing loan applications, verifying information, and assisting in the loan approval process. And so you're kind of like a financial detective here, piecing together the clues and documents to solve the mystery of whether or not a loan should be approved. And loan processing associates make about 41 to $56,000 a year. Probably not the most glamorous job in the world, probably relatively boring and mundane, but it is easy to get that entry level job, get your foot in the door. And there are better paying jobs down the line, such as loan processing officer. They make 61 to $98,000 a year. Underwriters make 71 to $122,000 a year. And branch managers can make about 74 to $124,000 a year. So overall, it's a pretty decent one. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, if you're loving this video, go ahead and share it with a friend or family member who needs to see it. That's kind of how we grow the channel through word of mouth, kind of grassroots type marketing. We don't have a big marketing team or anything like that. So this is how we choose to grow the channel is just by making great content and then you guys share it. Next is going to be a case care coordinator. And this is somebody who connects patients with the right resources, manages care plans, and ensures a smooth healthcare experience. So case care coordinators, of course, are not going to replace doctors or pharmacists, but they can help you dodge the awkward conversation of the doctor asking you, so why are you here exactly? And it saves you a bunch of time. And they make about 42 to $57,000 a year, so decent money. And they help with all kinds of other random things that help the patient. This person is somebody who does the career professionally. And there's other career paths you can go into that pay a little bit better, such as case manager. They make 46 to $66,000 a year. Director of utilization management, they make 81 to $134,000 a year. And a telehealth program manager makes 85 to $144,000 a year. So there's other career paths down the line that you can move into. So there is a career path progression for you to look forward to. So overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, if you haven't done it already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. You guys know that we work super hard on these videos. This one was, let's see, 81 pages of research long. So yeah, definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, we really appreciate it. And it shows that you appreciate us doing this work as well. Next is going to be a reservations agent. And this is somebody who assists customers with answering questions, making recommendations, checking availability, and processing reservations when it comes to travel. So you really need to be a master of navigating all things related to travel. Travel systems, finding the best deals, and finding hidden gyms for your clients to enjoy their next vacation. And travel is one of the absolute funnest things to do. I've been doing a ton of traveling the last few years. Here's a few pictures that I pop up just so you can see the places that I've been and the fun that I've had. And if you're the type of person who likes traveling too, this could be really good for you because you're probably already good at booking these reservations and checking different places out. In this position, you make about thirty-five dollars to $52,000 a year. So not bad for entry level work and not bad for a remote job, especially if you go travel to a place that has really low cost of living. And there's other career paths you can go into such as reservation supervisor, they make 44 to $68,000 a year. Corporate travel coordinator, they make 50 to $81,000 a year. And of course, a travel agency owner, they make 81 to $149,000 a year. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, if you haven't checked it out already, check out my video on the 21 highest paying work from home jobs. It did extremely well, got hundreds of thousands of views, and you can check it out by clicking right here.